What's up, everybody? Doc Dark 195. There's levels to this. All right, check this out. So, Sony dropped the, the reveal of the PS5, and um, I made a quick reaction to it. I think it looks nice. The system looks, um, I like it. I like the way it looks. Now, this thing supposedly is going to be massive, but it is what it is. But that's not what this video is about. It is about the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, but it's about how it pertains to to casual gamers. And I'm going to let you guys know how this concept all started out in my mind. So um, I was scrolling to you through, uh, through YouTube, and this meme popped up. And it was like, uh, you know how on YouTube you can have pictures and stuff, right? And the picture said... This is what your man wants. And it was a picture of the PS5, right? And it says versus what my man wants. And it was a picture of like a tool set and power tools and all that other stuff, right? So the gist of the meme was this. It was a girl that posted it. It was a woman that posted it. She was saying your man wants PS5, you know, the gaming system. My man wants power tools, insinuating that the man that wants power tools is better than the man that wants the PS5, right? So the first comment right under there was like, are you dating Bob the Builder or whatever? So I thought that was pretty funny. But regardless, so I looked at this meme and I was wondering like, what? What what is the stigma? Why is there a negative stigma behind video games, especially with how popular they are? Like you would you would think that by now this thing would be gone, right? The stigma. But for whatever reason, there's still a stigma that if you play video games, you can't be a man as well. <laughs> Now, now here's the thing, right? This is just one opinion. So I took this uh, this picture, I took this meme, and I had a conversation with somebody, you know, somebody close to me, and I asked them, hey, you, you know what? What do you think, right? And they proceeded to talk and tell me, which was caught me completely off guard, right? They were like, you know, you yourself, they're pointing at me, they were like, you know, you yourself you always been into video games, but you never really gamed that much. And I sat back and I was like, okay, hold on. This person is, they're agreeing with this meme. So it caught me by surprise, right? It's like, okay, so well, hold on. So even though I, I do everything else I got to do, take good care of my responsibilities, make sure we got, you know, lights are on, rent is paid. Foods in our bellies. The fact that I play more video games now. Is still. An issue. So it got me thinking right. Casual gamers. Versus. Gamer gamer. Where is that limit? Where is that boundary? When are you not considered to be a casual gamer anymore? And this is where in everything in life, guys, you got to you got to be able to self-reflect and look at yourself. OK, that's the only way you're going to grow. You have to be able to do this. Right. And this is where I'll be honest with you. I struggle. OK. Because I know exactly what that person was talking about. I've always been into video games. I just haven't been able to play as much as I wanted to play. But ever since I started my YouTube channel, ever since I started gaming on PC, I have been gaming way more, a lot more. I still don't consider myself like a gamer gamer compared to like people that I know put in like five hour sessions and stuff and be gaming. And I'll be honest with you. I wish I I do wish that I could do that and and not feel guilty. I do I do. I wish I could. 
But sometimes I'll drop two hours and feel guilty about it. Drop three hours, feel guilty about it. So typically I try to play like on like a Saturday night or a Friday night. And even then you still kind of feel guilty. So casual gamers, let me get back on track because the, the video the is about, it's like I had an idea. So what I wanted this video to be about, and then I started talking, I'm kind of like veering off track. Why the PS5 or the Xbox Series X caters so much to casual gamers? Caters too much to so much to to honestly some someone like me. So I guess the best way I would describe myself is full confession is I'm a casual gamer trying to disguise myself as an actual gamer. That that's that's the god honest truth. Okay. So I am gonna go back to my casual gaming ways, meaning I just play every once in a while when I get a chance, and when I when I play, I want to play not because I feel ob obligated to play, but because I genuinely want to play. This is what I want to do right now. And to be honest with you, I I don't like feeling guilty when I play video games. I don't, and I feel that myself internally sometimes. You know, when I just even though everything else is taken care of, it's so weird. It's just like it's like it's like I'm believing in that stigma. That's so crazy. Damn, I just figured it out. So the reason that meme bothered me so much is because I myself believe in that stigma, which I know is wrong. Look, man, you could play video games and be a man. Like that's 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 crazy to think otherwise. But when you think of a gamer, what do you think of? Hmm? And here's the thing, it's like, why are all the cool gamers, look, like, I'm going to tell you right now, this video is going to go one way, it's going to hold totally different way, I'm going to keep it this way, it is what it is, I, I'm not redoing this, I'm not re-editing this, I got to go to work tomorrow. But why is it that all the the gamers that seem to be accepted, or the ones that, uh, or the cool gamers or whatever, are the ones that play like sports games, or if you play Call of Duty, that's it. What if I want to play Animal Crossing? Does that make me less of a man if I want to play Animal Crossing? Well, I want to catch some Pokemons. That makes me less of a man. I don't know. It's so crazy, man. It's so crazy. I don't know. That's deep, though. That that's The reason that bothers me so much is maybe I subconsciously believe in that stigma. Which I shouldn't. I used to play video games a lot before. And then I remember I used to say, then I got grown and had more responsibilities and wasn't able to play as much. And then lately, I've been playing way more ever since this quarantine happened, since I got a new laptop, since I started my YouTube channel. I've been playing way more because I'm, I'm like not really into this game and stuff. But still feel guilty. It's so crazy. Now I don't even know why I'll make the title of this video. Do casual gamers feel guilty? Maybe that's what I'll title it. Do casual gamers feel guilty? Huh. It's crazy, huh? Hmm. So the PS5 and Xbox Series X, I believe, are going to cater to casual gamers. That's what they're trying to do. That's what these companies are trying to do. And I think the problem that we have from... The PC perspective is we try to we try to set our expectations onto them, onto what we expect video games to be. If you're a PC player, there's a difference too. Can you be a casual PC gamer? I don't know. Let me know. What does that look like? What is a casual PC gamer? Like, why do you have a fifteen hundred to two? thousand dollar machine to play games one day out of the week or something i don't i don't know it might work for you but just just talk to me let me know what does that look like or is there no casual pc game once you got a pc you going all in i don't know i don't know because even if you look at um yeah it makes sense so now it makes sense why 
Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to be 4K, 30 frames. The catering to most of the casual gamers. The person that's going to be sitting on their couch in their big, you know, 65, 45, 65 inch TV and wants to see the best visuals. They're not, they're not tripping about how many teraflops. Damn, that makes so much sense. That makes a lot of sense. So Sony doesn't really care how many teraflops it has compared to Xbox Series X because if you're catering to the casual gamers, that doesn't matter. The casual gamers doesn't care about the technical specs. Casual gamer cares about the experience. What is this experience going to be like when I get on and I play this game? Is it good or is it bad? That's it. That loading fast thing is part of the experience, I guess, you know? That makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Do casual gamers enjoy video games more? They might. They might because they might they're looking at that video game from a different perspective. They're not looking at that video game for what it should be. They're looking at it for what it is. I'll prove it to you right now. If you're a PC gamer and you play with your FPS counter on, turn off the FPS counter. See if you can still enjoy the game. Turn it off. I actually did that recently. Like two days ago, I did that. I dropped, I turned off all the FPS freaking counters and cranked up the graphics and um, actually, I just put the the graphics to the games that I'm playing right now on the on the on the default. So let the game decide, and then there's a few things that I tweak. Like I don't really like anti-aliasing that much. I got a 15 inch screen, so at 1080p, most things look good anyway. So I, I don't really like the anti-aliasing. But I turned off that FPS counter because I was playing on my old laptop, and that seeing that number drop has got a 1050 ti seeing that number drop below 60 was messing with me mentally so i was like if i take away this number is it still going to take away from the experience and i took away the number and guess what the experience was fine so that number up there is really really means something you know now i'm not saying that you can't tell the difference without it you can you can tell the difference between 60 and 144 but if you're going to tell me that you can tell the difference between 60 and 50 and 60 and 70 and you lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. But when I was playing with that FPS counter on, if I saw that thing drop, I think I was, it was, it was the 1050 Ti, the game I was playing, I think it was dropping to like 53 or whatever. It was messing me up mentally. I was like, oh, the game's too slow. 60 is more than playable. But to me, it was like, oh, the game is too slow. I took that off. Now I could play. That's how casual gamers play. They enjoy it. They enjoy it more. Damn. So many things in this video, right? PS5 design, I like it. Can you game and still be a man? The answer to that is yes. Come on now, don't, don't blame me like that. That's so crazy. Why does that even bother me so much? Am I looking at myself? I got a problem within. I feel less of a man because I play video games. It's messed up. That's that stigma. That's society setting expectations for you. <laughs> and then casual gamers. Yo, when I really think about it, being a casual gamer is the way to be. You're winning. You're winning if you're a casual, if you're a, if you're a true casual gamer, you probably only got one system. You ain't tripping. I got a PS4. I got an Xbox, and that's it. That's the only thing you need. You ain't tripping on nothing else. And you enjoying whatever game comes out on your platform. That makes sense because I see people talking about they trade in their systems. Like you'll see an Xbox, uh, one person trading their Xbox to get a PS4, or vice versa. Like I traded my PS4 to get an Xbox. It's like, what do you mean you traded? Like, why don't you keep both of them? Because there's levels to this. <laughs> so I got to be honest. I know why I feel guilty. I feel guilty because at heart, I'm a casual gamer that lately has been playing 
more video games than I typically would. And even though I'm enjoying it, part of me feels part of me feels guilty about it. To be honest with you, I actually enjoy making these videos more than I do actually playing playing the games. That's why I've been like like um playing with streaming while I play, so I'm also still creating content while I'm playing, recording while I'm playing, but it just hasn't worked out how I wanted. Like to me, I just like put it on the mic, put it on the headset. And just talking to you guys, this to me feels better. I forgot what I was going to name this video. PS5, Xbox Series X, caters to casual gamers. Maybe I'll name it that. So, if that's the case, if the PS5 and the Xbox Series X are just catering more to casual gamers than the hardcore gamers, which Sony and Microsoft probably know, like, if you're a true hardcore gamer, you're going to get a PC anyways. I mean, think about the competitive field, too. Like, you play if you're playing competitively for the most part you're playing on PC. I mean, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Just just put on Call of Duty on the Xbox or the PS4 and then go ahead and play it on PC and you'll see the difference. Like the the boys and then the boys and girls playing on PC are playing for real. Oh, so then what happens to, oh, I just thought about that. Is there a stigma against women playing video games? Because y'all do know women play video games too, right? Interesting. You know what? There is a stigma against it. Or I guess a prejudice against it. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'll be hopping on when I'm playing with Apex. And the first thing I'll say is, hey, how you guys doing? And be like, hey, what's up, man? What's up, bro? Like just reading the names or whatever. It could be a girl. And I've caught myself. I've caught myself. I actually played with this one couple. It was a boyfriend and girlfriend, both playing on PC. So they must have been like, yeah, he, I think he was in the house. She was in her house, and they were both playing Apex. Like, think about it, that's so cool because you could be like on a virtual date without actually like, you know, like, hey, you want to play Apex with me? Out, yeah, hop on. And yeah, they were both playing Apex. They were good too. They were good. And what's sad is when we were first playing, only one was talking to me. He was talking to me. She wasn't. And it's something that I always say when I play Apex Legends. If you don't got a mic or if you don't talk, I'll call you out. I'll be like, man, it's 2020. How you don't got a mic? Right? And then as soon as I say that, oh, I got a mic. Right? But I said that to this person. And I was like, you know, it was 2020. So-and-so doesn't have a mic. I didn't know they were playing together. And then he goes, nah, she's got a mic. It's just uh, she's shy. And I was like, oh, she. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, no worries. And then finally she hopped on or whatever. And you know what she said? It was so sad. She said that when she plays the game, she always mutes herself and always prefers to type in the chats because most people are rude to her. That's messed up. Most people are rude or vulgar or just say like, she says, say like, you know, sexual things to her or whatever. And the dude, her man wasn't, you know, he he's just trying to play a game. So he's not trying to, every time he gets into a squad, like, you know, defend his girl's honor, or whatever. So if they just prefer, you know, we're gonna go ahead, play and mute. But when they play with me, you know, they they unmuted. Like I'm, I'm a grown ass man. I don't need to. I don't need to be little women. So, but very interesting stuff. So yeah, man, this video went all over the place. I'm gonna still put it up though. PS5, Xbox Series X caters to casual gamers. That's probably what I'm gonna I'm gonna title it. And then uh, leave me your comments on this one, guys. Leave me your comments. Let me know, can you be a casual PC gamer? And if, and if you can, how so? Like, what, if, what does that look like? If you're a hardcore gamer and you're proud of it, let me know. Let me know, okay? If you're a hardcore console gamer and you're proud of it, let me know. Let me know what you think about that meme where it was like, your man wants this, and it was a PS5. I was like, and my man wants this, and it was like a whole bunch of power tools. A whole bunch of the comments also said, uh, you know, why can't I have both? Why can't I want a PS5 and want power tools? You know, I don't know. We'll see. But all right, guys, Doc Dog1985. There's levels to this. And when you start looking at yourself in the mirror and start thinking about all this stuff, there's levels to that too. We out. Peace.